Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus MgSO4. This is potassium hydroxide and we have magnesium sulfate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have one potassium here and two here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the KOH. Two potassium atoms, two potassium atoms. We have two hydroxides. Here we have two hydroxide magnesium, magnesium, sulfate, and sulfate. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can balance the net ionic equation. And to do that, we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base, so it's going to be aqueous. Magnesium sulfates, in general, sulfates are soluble, so we have a soluble magnesium sulfate, and the potassium sulfate, also soluble. Magnesium hydroxide, hydroxides in general are insoluble with a few exceptions. Group 1 hydroxides in particular, like sodium or potassium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide is slightly soluble. Very small amount dissolves. So we say that this is a solid and it's a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. When we write the net ionic equation, we don't split solids up. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. And again, we're not going to split the solid up. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. So I can see in the reactants there are two potassium ions and again two potassium ions in the products. We'll cross those out and then we have a sulfate ion here and we have a sulfate ion right here. Spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for KOH plus MgSO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus MgSO4. We have charge balanced. We have a 2 plus, 2 times 1 minus, so 2 plus and 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0. Magnesium hydroxide, that's a neutral compound, net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for potassium hydroxide plus magnesium sulfate. Thanks for watching.